I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach. And today it's all about beating imposter syndrome, tapping it to death. Because if you didn't know, now you do. So I've created videos on imposter syndrome. And today I want to cut through it all and give you an antidote to when you're feeling the experience of imposter syndrome kicking in, this is what you do, right? So whether you're feeling one, like a fake or a fraud, I'm going to be found out, I don't belong, or two, I don't deserve this praise, or you're avoiding recognition, you know, when you downplay your skills, your talent, and your greatness. Three, you believe your success is all due to luck and not due to your genius, hard work, or effort. Or four, when you feel the anxiety, depression, or lack of confidence popping up, this is what to do to disrupt it. Let's disrupt this mess right now with EFT. Emotional freedom techniques, or tapping as it's most commonly known, is a therapy technique loosely based on the techniques of acupuncture or acupressure. It uses the same basic energy meridians in the body to eliminate the blocks, obstacles, or the resistance you're maintaining and storing in your body by tapping on specific points. As you tap on these points, you're disrupting the thought patterns and you're basically thumping yourself to stop it but in a gentle way, okay? I'm a certified practitioner and I have been practicing myself to deal with limited beliefs and my clients are now loving how quickly tapping is disrupting their imposter syndrome. This practice literally taps into your nervous system and it rewires it as well as connecting you to your belief system and all the limited beliefs you're storing in there. It's best to focus on one element or topic at a time. So if it's depression, anxiety, fear, loss, lack of abundance, get specific and do a few rounds specifically around that. So I'm going to focus on imposter syndrome and you can just talk over me when you get the hang of it. Okay. And don't worry about doing it perfectly. Just follow along and start tapping on the nine meridian points. Let's clear those fraud feelings or the anxiety so you can share your talent with freedom and ease. Okay, ready? Let's take a deep breath and let's just start. Even though sometimes I feel like a fraud or like I don't belong, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though sometimes I hide or ignore being in the spotlight, I choose to love and accept myself anyway. Even though sometimes I feel like there are so many other people better at what I'm doing, and I'm so afraid that people will discover I'm really not qualified or that I'm a fraud and a fake, I choose to deeply and completely love myself. Despite what all the imposter syndrome evidence I've been storing and collecting is telling me that I'm a fraud, despite all the conversations imposter syndrome has stored in my head or the words I can't let go of that keep me in fear and that trigger the imposter anxiety loop, I choose to love and honor myself. If people really knew what my accountant knows, what the IRS knows, what my bank account knows, they would never hire me. And all these thoughts are crowded with all the other thoughts and fear and rejection that trigger the entrepreneur anxiety loop. I choose to love and honor and accept myself right now. Despite these thoughts that tell me I don't have the right to do what I'm doing, to have an amazing journey as an entrepreneur, that makes me believe that I have to do it all alone that keeps me trapped in silence and fear that I don't truly belong or deserve clients. I don't deserve money or to create that impact that only my business can. I choose to right now love and accept myself. And no matter that I think my gifts and talents aren't worth anything, when I walk into a networking event or I meet new people, I know they can see through me because no one ever follows up with me. I choose right now to love and accept myself. Who taught me to think like this? 
Who told me I was a fraud? Who said I was no good at what I do? And do I keep blaming them? Or do I take full responsibility for how I am, how I show up, and what I'm out here to cause? Right now, at this moment, I choose to love and accept myself. And maybe I still have a lot to learn. And I'll take the proper steps to get coaching and create more breakthroughs with myself and in my business. But I'm not a fraud. And I do belong. And it doesn't mean I don't have something to share right now. And at this moment, I choose right now to love and accept myself. And even though I have fears, oh, lots of fears, I am now releasing them one by one because they don't serve me in what I'm out to accomplish in my life. I'm such a contribution to friends, to family, to the planet. And I see the value I bring to any situation I am in. So I am declaring that conversation over right now. I'm creating the space for my greatness, my impact, and my influence. I have helped so many people up to now, and it will only get better. I am declaring that I am the best at what I do, and I am claiming my stake in the ground, digging that sucker in the dirt, and I'm letting the world know I am great. I will boast about my services knowing that I'm a dedicated, passionate, and authentic entrepreneur. I am stepping into my leadership as an entrepreneur knowing I get to decide how my journey goes from this moment forward. And it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be magnificent. It's going to be the best roller coaster ride I have been on. And I know that I am the only conductor. And I know that I am not just the conductor, but I am the ride. Today, I know I am going to create unlimited impact, influence, and income. And I will take the actions to create that. I will create the conversations to move my game forward, my business forward, my life forward, and nothing will stop me. I have heart. I have determination. I have exactly what it takes because I am the best me ever at this point in time. I will take the actions there are for me to take to create and maintain this new frequency of thought in order to manifest beautiful and amazing things in my life. And I will continue to do this over and over and over and over and over again. <sighs> Take a deep breath. How was that? That was one round. You can do another round tomorrow around anxiety or releasing it. What you will start to notice is immediately after doing this practice, you will start to get ideas, notions, thoughts that will inspire you to take action. Maybe you'll be inspired to call that other entrepreneur, to have them be part of a tribe, part of your success, and you won't be so resistant to post your videos on LinkedIn or on Facebook. You might find that the more you practice this, others are inspired to reach out to you and ask to collaborate on new projects. This will be your new normal because you have changed the frequency and the charge of your thoughts. You are now allowing newness to flow to and through you. Before we go on any further, I have to ask you, how was it? If this was your first time trying this, let me know in the comments below what you thought. Listen, being an entrepreneur means testing out several new applications or technologies that are out there for your business. What we failed to do is try out new applications or technologies for ourselves to set us up powerfully on this journey that we're on, right? We get caught up in a client call, keeping trackers updated. Is there enough money coming in this month? Where else can I put my time, sweat, and tears? But don't forget about you replenishing, relaxing, and creating a space for you to just be. 
You have forgotten that you are the vessel by which all this goodness is created. And this leads me to today's Nandawism. She remembered who she was and the game changed. If this video made a difference for you and you discovered or learned something new about yourself, share it with friends, as many friends as you can. Subscribe to the channel and hit the bell so you know when the next one is out. I wanna offer you a total package solution if you're experiencing anxiety or the lack of confidence that comes with imposter syndrome. And it's my supercharger course. It's an online course created to help you supercharge your life. In 45 minutes after watching the three solutions, there's actually four, because I threw a bonus one in there for you, you will quickly shift your mood to one that will keep you motivated, help you achieve your goals, and be empowered. So go become a supercharger in your own life and don't let something like imposter syndrome impact your business, your influence on the world. The link is in the description or just visit my website, nandawism.com. I'm Nando Rodriguez, your breakthrough coach. And remember, I'm here empowering you to create unlimited impact, influence, and income.